Uh, well, actually, cardiovascular disease and erectile dysfunction commonly coexist um, and actually share very similar risk factors, some of which are smoking, sedentary lifestyle, obesity, and diabetes. 5% um, of the population currently suffer, 5 to 20% of the population currently suffers from erectile dysfunction, and over 70 of people who have known cardiovascular disease have erectile dysfunction. So they do play an integral part in each other, and uh, actually ED is an independent risk factor for cardiovascular disease. To assess whether there was an association between erectile dysfunction and subclinical vascular disease, which typically precedes overt cardiovascular disease by about 10 years. Mm -hmm. uh, and this was the first study of its kind and was unique data. And what we found is that uh, subclinical atherosclerosis was associated with uh, erectile dysfunction at around 10 year follow up. And calcium scores greater than 100 had over 50% greater likelihood that you would subsequently report erectile uh, dysfunction later on. We think that this study is really important because uh, erectile dysfunction as an independent risk factor for cardiovascular disease, using the subclinical imaging assessments that we've identified, such as coronary artery calcium, if we're able to identify people who are at risk for ED and subsequent CVD, we think that there are some definite measures that we can take to help improve their subsequent prognosis, uh, many of which I think are obviously smoking cessation, maybe some uh, interve th therapeutic interventions, increased physical activity, and heart-healthy diet.